The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> One Sabbath, Jesus happened to be taking a walk through the cornfields, and his disciples were picking ears of corn, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath day? Jesus answered them, So you have not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry, how he went into the house of God, took the loaves of offering and ate them and gave them to his followers, loaves which only the priests are allowed to eat? And he said to them, The Son of Man is Master of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, how will you talk to a hungry man about God without giving him food in the first place? Let me tell you a little story, a story about little Johnny. One day he said to his mom, Mom, I want to see God. I'm going to search for him. I'm going to find him. His mom was surprised. She said, All right, Johnny, okay, take this lunch for you. When you go to see God, you may be hungry. Please make sure that you have your lunch. So this Johnny walked around the streets. He got tired. In the end, he sits on a park bench. And then he noticed in a distant while there was an elderly man, very frail and weak. He was hungry. So Johnny decides to share his lunch with that man. And he goes and sits next to him and he gives him a piece of sandwich and he has lunch with him. And they have a lot of conversations. They laugh together and they conversed. In the end, Johnny got up and walked back home. His mom noticed that Johnny was a little bit different. She asked him, Did you meet God? What did he speak? She just expected him to say, Well, you know, I searched for God, I couldn't find him. But he said in reply, I met God in the park. He was very poor, and I shared my lunch with God, and we laughed together when he spoke so many things. And God is older than what I thought. In the meantime, this elderly man who reached home, he spoke to his wife, and he said, Today, somebody shared with me a meal. I see God in him, and God is much younger than what I thought. Now, God lives in us, my dear friends. We are made in the image and likeness of God. Whenever a baby is born, when you look at a smile of a baby, you are looking at God smiling in that baby. That is why we are so attracted towards the smile of a baby. Now what is important is to recognize God in one another. And God transcends all other things when it comes to love of human beings. He dies for it. He breaks any barriers that is between us and him. In the gospel of today, we're coming across a situation. Jesus and his disciples, as you would have noticed in the gospels, they go from village to village, town to town, spreading the gospel, talking about God and performing those miracles. So they were hungry. They did not have any food to eat. When they found the corns in the corn fields, they saw food there, and the disciples started to rub them and started to eat the corns. Now, immediately the Pharisees found fault. Your disciples are doing something that is forbidden. 
how can they do that work of threshing the corn that is forbidden on the Sabbath day? And Jesus gets really upset because these people are holding on to the word rather than the spirit of the Lord. Every law that is given to us for a common purpose, for love of God and for our neighbor. And Jesus knows that. He is the author of law. He knows that. It's not that he wants the disciples to break the law, but to speak the spirit of that law. So immediately he says, well, you have not read anything in the scripture about David, whom you consider to be a great king. You think that you are descendant of David and you pride yourself in that. What did you do? When he went to the temple, he took the loaves of offering that is meant for the priests and he ate and also gave to the disciples. In other words, he is telling, now where are you going to bury your head? Your ancestor whom you are priding about, David has done something that is completely forbidden. Now what is needed of us is to see the spirit of the Lord, my dear friends. Many a times we are stuck to the word of the law. When it comes to basic necessities, God bends the rules. Because he has given those rules for the common good, for the welfare of everyone. But when it comes to matter of life and death, anything is accepted. Let me give you one example. How the church honors the spirit of the law rather than the letter of the law. As you know, the priests, deacons, and the bishops are the normal ministers to baptize. Say for an example, a baby is dying in the hospital. There is no one around. None of the priests or deacons were around. And not even a Catholic, another Catholic. Say a Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist nurse is working in that ward. If the baby is Catholic and the parents want the baby to be Catholic by being baptized, even that Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist nurse can do that emergency baptism with the same formula by saying to the baby, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and it is a valid baptism. The church supplies faculties in the danger of death. And God knows that this is very important that we understand that. When it comes to matter of life and death, God always chooses life. Here the disciples are hungry. Now, when a hungry man is struggling and looking for food, you're not going to talk the rules and regulations at the time. First to feed him, then you can teach all other things. He will be capable of listening to those laws. And that is exactly what Jesus said. In the end, he reminded them, the Son of Man is the master of the Sabbath. In other words, I gave you those laws through Moses. Now, don't dictate terms to me. How good is our Lord? Let us be grateful to him for having that compassion, having that mercy upon us sinners. When we struggle, God relents. He changes. Let us also see the spirit of the law, everything that we do, rather than just remaining with the letter of the law. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.